हेलो एवरी वन सो आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू फिफ्टीन डेज फिफ्टीन कंसेप्ट सीरीज सो टूडे वी हैव डे थ्री एंड ऑन दिस डे थ्री वी विल बी लर्निंग वन कंसेप्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ वन क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दैट इज सेवेंटीन ईयर ओल्ड वुमेन इज एडमिटेड टू द हॉस्पिटल विद द साइंस ऑफ केवरनेस साइनस थ्रोबोसिस एज रिवील्ड बाय द रेडियोग्राफिक एज वेल एज द फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन Now thrombophlebitis in the danger area of the face it can spread to the cavernous sinus and involve the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve which of the following symptoms will most likely be present during the physical examination now something very very important for us in this given question ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve involvement has been given let us look at this arrangement that if you see that the lower eyelid the lateral part of the nose and the upper lip up that palate as well as the upper jaw teeth that is the distribution of the v2 that is the maxillary nerve whereas we can see the distribution of the ophthalmic nerve is in the orbit region so the eyeball region will be taken care of by the branches of the ophthalmic division whereas the maxillary nerve traveling along the floor of the orbit it will be covering the lower eyelid region lateral nose and the upper lip region so these are the distribution area for the v2 so among the given option among the given option uh, like what was the given uh, language that ophthalmic nerve is involved because of the cavernous sinus thrombosis right so other nerves are not involved so only region which will be affected will be the eyeball region so pain from the eyeball can be expected but yes the hard palate anesthesia of the upper lip upper lip hard palate and the lower eyelid that is the region for v2 because the v2 is not involved maxillary nerve is not involved that's why those will not be seen so thank you so much we'll meet with another next concept on day 4